What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about God of High School, alright? Now let's get into it. Alright, so in today's video I just wanted to talk about the new anime called God of High School and there's a lot to talk about with this anime. I think this anime has lots of potential. The reason why I say that is because of the way they kind of portrayed the anime in the first episode, the like scenes and the animation, it kind of reminded me of Dragon Ball Z a little bit, or you know, just the Dragon Ball series in general. And I thought it was really cool to see this this new series slash manhwa come out and you know really surprise people and show them why the webtoon and country world collaboration is such an important thing in uh, in anime right now. And the reason why I'm saying this, I think that God of High School is going to be exponentially bigger than Tower of God. Because the, the Tower of God, it's a lot more focused on the story and what's in setting up a uh, plot, plot twist and setting up character development, all of that. But, you know, when you really get down to it in every episode, is there like something crazy going on? No, not really. So I think God of High School is going to be, you know, that filler for Tower of God. It's going to, you know, take up the mantle of, you know, the, the webtoon anime uh, sorts of collaborations. And the reason why I'm saying this is because that um, what God of High School, it's really more action-packed. It's a lot more action-packed than Tower of God. Tower of God was, was, like I was saying before, it's more of a, you know, trying to get the, trying, trying to get the audience to think about all of the powers and power struggles going on in Tower of God. But in this, in God of High School, this is more about, you know, you see that guy, go beat him up. So I, I think that, I think that God of High School has, uh, it has, it, it can reach a more broader audience than Tower of God has. And I, it, I, I'm not saying that to like um, declaim Tower of God or, you know, just disrespect Tower of God. I think it's a really good series. But I'm saying that Tower of God, you know, might not be for everybody. And God of High School, you know, with these these fighting slash fighting slash story type of type of animes, they usually have really really big audiences. Like we've seen before with One Piece, you know, the Big Three, One Piece, Naruto, Bleach, and then you know the father of the Big Three, Dragon Ball. So I think that th th these fighting series have a lot more going for them. Just because of, you know, you get to see crazy fights, you get to see, you know, a lot of the hype built up, you know, between all of these episodes, and you can really get to see, you know, the main character versus whoever he's, he's beefing with or whoever he's trying to surpass, and we already got to see a glimpse of that in the episode. We got to see that, you know, the main character of God of High School is, is trying to beat this martial arts tournament just so he can have a rematch with somebody that he fought before. So it, it really shows that uh, this is going to be a lot more of a mainstream anime and just you know just by looking at the, the opening, the ending and you know the soundtrack in this it's very modernized. It's not like Tower of God. Tower of God was like a Tower of God soundtrack was kind of you know like mysterious and like indie type of soundtrack but this is this is like um, production. You even have like Tyler, Tyler the Creator on the opening, and I think it's it's going to be a really good anime for everybody to like dip their you know you know dip their hands into and see if it's for them or not. What I found really interesting when I watched the first episode was you know the way they introduced the characters. I mean I'm not I don't really like when you introduce the main cast in the first series in the first, I mean the first episode, but. I think that it's it's fine. The way they did it was fine. Uh, I'm more of a guy that likes to, you know, see a a new character, main a new main character that introduced like you know a couple episodes downwards. And, you know, you get the first one, and then you have their backstory, and then you get the second one, and then you have their backstory. Kind of like One Piece. Kind of like the, the recent anime that I've been watching, uh, The Great Pretender. You kind of you know you get you get the main character's uh, backstory in like pieces. I kind of like that more, but I think God of High School is doing a good job with it. You get to see a little bit of their background and you know, and then how they found each other and how they connected, and you you can really see how this is going to start to make a relationship and start to you know become friends in the future. 
because you know they've already met and I think it's, it's very easy to see that they have chemistry between each other and the reason why and the reason why I I'm already loving this anime like right off the bat is because you know when they started you know when they started getting down to business when they started in the tournament they were just they were going ham like like the animation is very uh, slick I didn't think that I mean, I, when it started, first started, I was like, ah, it's alright. But then when you when you see them like actually doing their moves and and I, I don't know, there's that one scene with that girl where he was doing boxing and it just feels like you can feel the the force behind the punch and it, it, it really sells it. They, they, they really sell it really well in this anime. I mean, I don't really have a lot to talk about, but for God of High School, I do think it has potential to become something really big because you know in the in the first like five minutes they kind of showed us what you know the power scaling is in this anime and you know where they're at right now and there is something i wanted to say about it that's negative i think that power level that they're kind of at right now is a little absurd for the first episode i just want to you know get that out of the way they seem really really powerful for the you know the first episode and they're just like you know this guy punched punched the one dude and he like hit took out like 20 other dudes I think it I, I mean you don't really see that many shows start off with like that you know except for like One Punch Man or something you just have to see where it goes from there I can't really you know knock them for that and I just you know maybe they could stay at that power level for like the whole season you never know but I think I think it's gonna become a really good anime you can just feel it you can just you can just see through if you watch the first episode you can see that it's going to become something big a lot of people are hyped about it and there's a lot of comments that are online about it there's a lot of people talking about the show so it's very easy to see that this show has potential uh dare say i say it it's, has a potential to be like a dragon ball z or a big three i don't know but i think it's, this is going to be one of the biggest hits of this of this year i don't know that's a big guess to take but I do think that it's going to be one of the biggest anime of this year. It's not, I'm not going to say it's the best, but I do think we're going to get somewhere with this anime. So yeah, if you guys liked it, go ahead and like it. And if you guys have something to say about God of High School, you guys think it has potential to be like, you know, the next big three or the potential to be you know, as famous as Dragon Ball, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Go.